Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a look inside of Adobe SpeedGrade, and then save that look out for use in Adobe Premiere. So this is great for anybody kind of working on tight deadlines that still wants to, you know, be able to make their footage look better, especially when working with flat footage with these digital cinema cameras, like Blackmagic Cinema Camera, and then, you know, like, reds and, and that sort of thing. The reds have, you know, a different color space and their whole color workflow is a whole different, a whole different animal. But... If you're one of the many people using a Blackmagic Cinema camera or any other, like, you know, a 5D and a cinema profile or something like that, this is a super handy thing to know how to do. Or if you just like really stylized stuff and you just want a bunch of cool presets that you can access from, from Premiere that look really good and use a really good color engine and, you know, aren't a lot of faff to get working, this is a great thing to know how to do. So we're going to start inside Speed Grade. You see I've already imported a clip and I've got this, you know, the color window all set up. I've got my controls down here. So I'm just going to create a quick grade real quick. So I'm just gonna, you know, cool this guy down, and then make it a little bit greener, and then contrast it up, increase the saturation. We'll see, we could even use it a little bit cooler. Not that cool. And make it a little bit greener. Go to our midtones and warm them up a little bit. And we'll go to our shadows and smash them down a bit. Go to our highlights and boost them up a bit. Just make a really quick and dirty grade because, you know, this isn't a color grading tutorial. It's, you know, how to, how to export a look. Um, this could use a little more green. And this could use a little more green. Cool, so now I've got an interesting look going on here. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna save it out and then export it so we can use it inside of Premiere. And you could probably do this in other NLEs too, but we're gonna focus on Premiere because if you're using speed grade, you're probably also using Premiere. So you're gonna click on this little button down here that'll say save look, and then open up this little guy right here and you'll see we've got it right here, untitled two, which will now be lake 01. Just hit enter to confirm that. And you can right click on this and do export look. Just make sure all these are checked because, you know, they're such little files, why not? Then hit export. And we will bring this down. I'm just going to save it where I save all my LUTs. A little folder here. We'll call this Lake 01. Save. And then boop. Just real quick like that. The next step is to go and extract those. We're just going to go to where we saved it real quick because it zipped the files up. It's going to right click and use whatever program you want to use to extract it. I'm using WinRAR, but there's a bunch of other ways to extract zip files. We'll open up and we'll see. Look, there they are, all right there. Super handy. Even got a little preview of what it's going to look like. Really nice. We're going to open up Premiere and you see I've already got the clip open here. I'm just going to go to Effects and drag a random Lumetri look in here. Let's go Bleach Bypass. It doesn't matter which one because you can go up to this setup thing right here in our effects controls. You can get to effects controls by going window effects controls. Just click on that. I'm just going to import this dot look file. Hit OK. And then boom, there it is. We've got our look right there. It's looking nice. Hannah in a canoe. You know, what could be better? So great. That was super easy. A super handy little function to know how to do. Great that, you know, they make it so easy to do that. It's just a nice little trick to have up your sleeve, especially if you're editing with a client over your shoulder and he's saying, why does that footage I paid you a bunch of money to shoot look like garbage? You know, I have my iPhone looks better. You'd be like, no, no, look, it, it actually is gonna look good. And I'll be like, oh, okay, good. We'll, we'll keep on doing this. So that's about it. You know, if you've liked the video, be sure to give it a like. If you didn't like it, give it a dislike. If you wanna see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. The links for social media stuff are in the description if you're into that. Uh, once again, I've been Theo with Meissner Media. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.